All right. Hey, everyone. Let it go here. We're taking on the latest, most unfortunate red tome mage of Gen 6, Peleus. I think that's how you say his name. I never met him in Radiant Dawn. I, of course, that's because I didn't get that far in Radiant Dawn, actually. So, yeah. Um, he's actually not bad, really. He's truly not bad. Save for the fact he doesn't have a personal weapon. He's got good stats. He's not slow like every other red mage we get. He's got decent bulk in defense, I want to say. 21 or whatever, but it's still past 20, so that's something. And his res is good. He's passed. He's got a 40 attack, I think. So, yeah, he's, he's got a future. I imagine a lot of people will work with him, um... Just due to the fact he's got high BST. Uh, apparently he's a fan favorite. I'd never heard of the guy until now. So, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. He's not actually bad. What I do consider bad, or at least mediocre, is his weapon. The Rotter Lion. I was really hoping that was going to be the Fury Tome. Because Red Tomes didn't get that. We had um, the Madness Flask and Spooky Sensor from the Halloween banner. Of two years ago? I think it was, and I was really hoping this would be a fairy tome, because I think Red could have used that more than they could have used this. But still, it's got its own good points. It reminds me of the summer weapons we got this year. Or should I say the summer lances we got this year. Literally, two lances that pretty much do the same thing, just boost a different stat. But uh, I brought with me Lynn, because her weapon is pretty much a rotter lion tome. Sad, right? <laughs> And Orochi, because her weapon is also pretty much a Rotter Lion Tome. Yes, I know it involves panic, but still, the same boosts pretty much apply here. Plus 5, plus 6, they're pretty much the same thing. As I said, Orochi's weapon is like an inheritable weapon. And that's why I legit thought it was an inheritable weapon when I saw it. It turned out it was her own personal weapon. Pretty sad, pretty sad. And then we got Raven here. He's back from his resplendentness. And, uh, yeah. And then we got Marth. Brave Marth. I brought him along because I wanted to test him out. So what we're going to do is... This. Which way? Got it. I'm gonna get the party started on As turn one. I myself am not gonna build Peleus. I'll probably dread facing him just because of how naturally fast he is, so people will build him fast. And that's gonna be mostly annoying for me to deal with. But he's a red maze, so there's not really much they can do other than like give him a fox tome. They do that, and they'll just make him a scary player phase unit, so I can take care of him on the enemy phase, I think. I believe he only has a super boon in attack. I think it was. We think alike, you and I. A pretty unfortunate one. As you say. That that's all he gets, but yeah, that just can't be chooses, I guess. And besides, attack is good. Now, if I remember correctly, we fall back. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we do the big fish. Let Lynn go in. Hmm, I'm trying to think about what would be like the the top tier watch out for build on Pelis. I guess it would have to do with um, Amity Blooms, right? That's what I think. Also, this might be too loud for you guys. I just realized that. Okay, it might not have been too loud for you. I'll have to check back. Just to make sure. Which way? 
Also, that bow fighter, he's got flashing blade four times pulse moon bow when he's got like 24 or whatever speed. That's a Edelgard counter if I've ever seen one, and that's sad. <laughs> Let's end this. He is meant exclusively for Edelgard, and that's hilarious. I'll make it quick. And then he's gonna do at least 10 damage to her. Ooh. Less than that, actually, because of the um, damage reduction she gets on the first hit. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. That was it for Peleus. I got him. I'm not going to use him at all. I don't, he doesn't even have, like, the good skill yet. Oh, wait, I guess I don't have him. I suppose I could put him in my reserves. Oh, well. But, uh, yeah, I'll get his flowers, I guess, and leave it at that. So, yeah. Like I said, thank you all very much for watching. Feel free to let me know if you're actually going to do something with Peleus. I know some people will. It makes sense too. Highest scoring mage in the game that doesn't have a personal weapon, I believe. So, uh, he's got his high points for now. <laughs> Take care.